Queen Elizabeth II, Britain's longest reigning monarch who served as the beloved face of her country and source of strength for seven decades, died Thursday at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. She was 96. The Queen's doctors said earlier Thursday that they were concerned for Her Majesty's health and that she was resting comfortably at Balmoral under medical supervision. She died peacefully Thursday afternoon, Buckingham Palace said in a statement. The King and the Queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow, Buckingham Palace said. The royal was preceded in death by her husband, Prince Philip, who spent more than seven decades supporting the Queen. The Duke of Edinburgh, Britain's longest serving consort, died in April 2021 at age 99. Elizabeth and Philip were married for more than 70 years and had four children Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. From the small, curly haired girl known to her family as Lilibet, to the gracious, bespectacled great grandmother who favored broad brimmed hats, deliberate bright fashion, and sensible shoes, the Queen was always a favorite with her subjects both at home and in her many visits to Commonwealth nations around the world. Her walkabouts, in which she stopped to shake hands and briefly chat with members of the public, seemed to reinforce her one-time comment, I have to be seen to be believed. But appearing in public didn't mean her audience necessarily knew everything about her. The Queen's personal life was never mined by the media in the way that those of American presidents tend to be. Elizabeth's devotion to duty and a life of service made her an important figurehead for the UK and the Commonwealth. The Queen saw public and voluntary service as one of the most important aspects of her role. She had links to more than 600 charities, military associations and public service organizations. Her patronages covered a wide range of issues, including opportunities for young people in the preservation of wildlife, among others. Throughout her tenure, the Queen was also noted for her good health. In recent months, the monarch's well-being became a matter of public speculation when she was advised to cut back on cocktails for the sake of her health. Not long after, Elizabeth spent a single night in a hospital after being advised to rest. She returned to Windsor Castle the following day, the palace said at the time. When she died, Elizabeth was the most widely traveled British head of state and the longest married British monarch. She had ruled for longer than any other monarch in British history, becoming a much loved and respected figure during her decades long reign. She reached the milestone of 70 years on the throne on February 6, 2022, celebrating with the Platinum Jubilee in June to mark the occasion. Elizabeth is survived by four children eight grandchildren and twelve great-grandchildren. Her eldest son, Charles, 73, is first in line to the throne.